Hello and welcome back to the Chamandro 102 save. I am Cultured Left Foot and we are with Tottenham in 2018. But there's no Harry Kane and there's no Christian Eriksen and there's no Hugo Lloris and there's no Kieran Trippier and there's no Adele Ali. I think. I should probably check. No, nah, he won't be in the game. Um, but yeah, but we've got another game. We're playing Colchester, and we're going to go straight into it. This is the lineup. Makoku sits behind Tim and Jimenez. Burgess, Robson, and Anderson are in the middle. Zimmerman, Aguedo, Smith, and Mahana at the back. And Dallas is in goal. And probably that won't mean anything to you guys, because you've been around this team as long as I have, if you've watched them the first season. So we have got David Park on loan, who starts on the bench. He'll probably come on for his debut today in place of one of the central midfielders, but let's get the game underway against Colchester. We had a bit of a bumper episode last episode with the uh, player staff searching going on. We basically were trying to spend a bit of money. Hopefully we've got a new centre-back coming in in this episode, we'll find out. We've got a lot of scouts out there, scouting players to let us know what they're like. A couple of players from Folks and Evicta, as uh, Jimenez was on a wonderful run there. But Bula makes a good double save, pouncing on the rebound. And uh, Smith comes forward into Burgess, Burgess to Fox. God, he's fouled. It's, it's really hard to judge if he's been sent off or not because the colours they're playing in are the red card colours. As um, Zimmerman's free kick goes wide. He's back in at left back after regaining his fitness, being a naughty boy and not doing his fitness training. But um, we're doing okay here. Maku goes down. He's body checked. Indirect free kick. We can't get anything on it in Colchester. Just about hold on. Where are Colchester in the table? They are a 14th. So... Probably, again, a team we should be beating, but normally when I say that, we don't do very well. As um, Makoku gathers the ball into Tim. Tim on the volley, it goes just wide. What is Mad Tim's technique? Because I'm pretty sure that's what volleying is. Ten. No wonder he doesn't score too many volleys. But um, Burgess in the stocks, clearance, Man Jimenez chips the ball in. Overhead kick. Can't keep it down. He was denied space by Francis, and I'm just going to have a quick glass of water. So if you can just read the commentary for yourself for a second... And we're back in the game. So, Colchester have the ball. No, they don't. We've got it. Robson, Gardner got his foot in. Anderson, outside of the foot. And it's still going. It's still alive. Anderson comes forward to a Grado forward pass. Zimmerman. And Jimenez is there on the head. He beat Gary Butler in the air. Jimenez sticks it in. 1-0 Tottenham. Does that push us back up? It doesn't. It keeps us in third. I'm, I'm declaring Grimsby as our arch rivals in this save already. I'm declaring Grimsby as our arch rivals. There's... Nothing I want more than to beat Grimsby in this division and make sure we go up and they don't. Even if we don't get automatic promotion, if we can beat them in the playoff final, that would be amazing. But they beat us in the first game of the season, so we've got a penalty. Yellow card, Robson sticks it in the back of the net. It's 2-0. He sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Fifth goal of the season for the central midfielder slash fullback, Robson. Doing very well for us in the middle of the park, actually. But three minutes later... Kelly, no, it won't count. He's blown the whistle. He was offside when he headed the ball in. And that should see us through to half-time, really, as Jimenez comes forward. Are we going to nick another just before half-time, Makoku? No, he's got, the goalkeeper does well to smother it. And there it is. Half-time. Anderson not having the best of games. And neither is Smith at the back. So again, we can't have a game where both centre midfielders play well. It's so annoying. Parker's going to come on for his debut. He's going to come on for Anderson. On loan from Premier League Tranmere Rovers to uh, second division Tottenham Hotspur. Try and figure that one out in the alternate relation, uh, universe. I think it's a relationship. But Robson has scored. No one's picking up his run from midfielders, which is odd because he shouldn't really be running forward too much. He's a defensive midfielder of the three we've got in there. Or the more defensive midfielder of the three in there, but that's not a problem. We are 3-0 up. This is pretty much a walk in the park now as uh, Robson's got two. Jimenez has got one. And how's the new guy doing on his debut? He's on a seven, so not too bad. He's doing okay. Both centre-backs have now decided to not play very well. I mean, how can they be on a six? We're 3-0 up. They have a clean sheet, and they haven't really done too much wrong. Um, Burgess hasn't headbutted anybody in this game either yet after that incident in the last episode where he managed to headbutt someone and not get sent off, which was... It's got to be a first for me, I think, on Chapmandro 1 and 2. Normally, when you see violent conduct like that, it's just always a straight red. I'm going to assume the referee didn't see it, and it was only something the commentary picked up on, but who knows? That was that was in last episode. Let's focus on this one. So, Colchester really haven't offered too much in the way to trouble us. So, Makoku's going to come off and be replaced by Adolfson. We'll put Mads Tim back into the attacking role, 
and we'll give Stephen Craig a run at that left back in case Zimmerman decides that his fitness is going to play up again. But five minutes to go, and we're 3-0 up. This should keep us in third position. Grimsby, oh yes, they've gone out of the relegation zone early on in the season, in a promotion zone, playoff zone. Oh my God, my words are just all over the place today. But yeah, we're doing well, 3-0 up. I can't see too much happening other than us scoring another goal. Bournemouth. Bournemouth? Colchester haven't really thre threatened. It's the red and blue. Um, they haven't really threatened. Can you hear me? Chat manager I wanted to. Can you hear me in the computer? Is the computer listening to me? Um, I said they haven't really threatened and they go and bloody score. 3-1. We don't get the clean sheet bonus, but that doesn't really bother me. It keeps some money in the club. Uh, Jack Worthington. This is the centre-back who looks like he could be pretty good. Good pace. Good positioning. Good influence, good marking, good tackling, good teamwork, good technique, good stamina, good heading. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'll be happy to get him in. Let's have a look. I think you'll be an important first team player. You want three and a half thousand pounds? That's fine, but we'll give you a little bit. We'll give you. We'll give you a grand more, and you're not allowed to leave unless someone pays five hundred and fifty k. How about that, Jack? How about that? He's delighted. Delighted to agree terms. I can't believe he wants 3,000. And this guy that we're trying to get in from bloody Belarus or wherever he's from. How do I look at transfers? It's in here somewhere. There we go. Future trans This guy from Belarus, Valerin Leonchik. He wants like 31 grand. And he's a free agent. Oh, bloody incredible. Absolutely incredible. We'll continue the game and uh, get to the next game. We've signed Jack Worthington. And Justin Brown... As, uh, oh, he looks good, and they got him on a free. He is 32, though, from Birmingham. Birmingham. Um, Blake, Nicky Blakes should have an extended run in the first team, should he? Well, he's in the reserve, so he's not doing anything. Chris Campbell's back. South end of Bidford, Juan Aguado. Um, we bought him for 300k, so I ideally want to make that back with a bit of profit. So we'll go for 500k and see what they say. If, if they don't want to pay it, I'm happy to keep him. He's a good backup player to have. Although he is slowly slipping down the pecking order with the players that we're bringing in. We're, we're creating a good little team here. Um, Wolf supporters greeted their team with boos and jeers because they lost to Roma. Imagine that in real life. Uh, that can't be the... It is. is it, it is. Labinot Harbuzi. He was amazing. Yeah, let's get him in. 1.6 million. Yes. I will, uh, you probably won't drop down the divisions, to be honest. Dave Wharton. Let's uh, we'll give him a scout as well. Although he now wants to stay at the club. That's I love just finding random players like that. Um, Lee Ward, Blackpool manager sacked. Southend give up on Aguado. Thought moves to Southend. Tottenham reserves lose, and um, an excellent signing, Dave Wharton. So, yeah, done. Three point one million. Let's get him in. Another attacking champ manager. One hundred two. I always ended up with too many attacking players. 16-year-old, uh, have to give him a scout, just see if there's any potential there. Um, yeah, I always ended up with far too many attacking players. Harbuzi doesn't want to move, Wharton doesn't want to move, and Sheridan has moved to there. Ready for he's playing Lee Smith, when it's obvious that he isn't producing the goods on the pitch. I'm going to defend Lee Smith. He's, I like him. Lee Smith has redoubled his efforts in training. He believes this is probably an attempt to buy the player to repay your support. Well, I think you're doing very well. I'm going to repay your support so much. I'm going to give you a new contract, but we're going to get rid of that, and I'm going to give you extra money. Just chuck money at the situation. Here we go, then. Away at Cambridge. Um, we're going to give Parker his start. He's going to start ahead of Burgess, who's now unhappy and wants a new contract. And we're going to give Worthington. He's going to go on the bench instead of Bull. Campbell comes back into the team alongside Smith, who I'm giving my unwavering support to and is everyone fit and healthy yes they are let's get into the game we'll switch uh, now we'll keep Makoku in the attack midfield role to start with this one Worthington get the random number 38 shirt let's go get into the game proceed to the match kick off Cambridge away well we're away to Cambridge um, and are we gonna have a are we gonna have a goal in the first minute no we're not because Mads Tim has the technique of a one-legged ostrich but um, there you go you can Pick that one out. That will probably be the title of this episode. Technique of a one-legged ostrich. And we're 1-0 down. Gibson. He went around Mads Tim and scored his first goal of the season. Obviously, what do you bet Cambridge near the bottom of the table? As we just watched this. Tim, Makoku. Header from Makoku. Goes horribly wide. Only a half chance. And uh, Cambridge, uh, 16th. Yes. A mid-table team that we will struggle against. 
Michael Mahan, Anderson, Tim, Jimenez holds up the play, lays it off. Makoku hits a hopeful looking shot. It fires into the net. He's, I love him. I love him. He's a player, coach, captain for me in this team. Captain extraordinaire and uh, absolutely wonderful. Makoku, he's, what, that was a weird bit of commentary. Makoku runs through on goal. Only the goalkeeper to beat. He's put under pressure, dribbles round someone, scoots and misses. But yeah, we're uh, Jimenez, a spectacular job, only a half chance. We're, they seem to be getting in and around our strikers quite a lot. So it's going to be dependent on that run from attacking midfield to see if we can get any more goals. As uh, Leon Knight fires it over. And uh, Cambridge come forward again. So O'Connor, 30 yards out, puts it into the penalty area. Connects with diving header, Dallas saves. And Zimmerman gets the ball away. Yeah, we're, um, we're under a bit of pressure here from Cambridge United. Maybe we'll have to look. Dallas can parry it. Maybe we'll just have to look to change up our tactics a little bit. Let's go and attack them. Let's see if we can just get, get in their faces and go and get some goals. As Cambridge, they come forward again, but we've got the ball now. We've intercepted. Tim's on his chest. Back to Jimenez. Back into Tim's. Makoku pushes it away, the goalkeeper. Good save. And uh, Cambridge United just about withhold the pressure. But we're coming at them again. This attacking formation seems to have made a difference as Jimenez fires a shot wide. 1-1. One, one. How are Grimsby doing? Grimsby are still in seventh, which is good. Good. Don't like Grimsby. Apologies to anyone who's from Grimsby, but I don't like Grimsby purely in this fictional Champ Manager 0102 um, alternative universe because they beat me in my first league game. Five, five. Lee Smith. Right. I'm sorry, Lee, but Jack Worthington's coming on to replace you. Andy Robson in midfield is going to be replaced by Burgess as well. Double sub at half time. Let's get out there. Make a bit of a difference. That's probably why they were all over us. Because uh, our centre-back and one of our centre-mids was not playing very well at all. As uh, Burgess still has it. Hits a right-foot strike. Can't hold it. Still collects the ball and clears. Worthington will get there and Cambridge withstand that pressure. We're just going to move Parker as the middle of the three in there. He's the new guy. Parker is getting his debut. His, full, his first start for the club anyway today. His header from Tim didn't really threaten anything. And Tim was then offside. I'm wondering if we would score more goals if I dropped Mads Tim. That's not something I ever want to really do. But Makoku's coming forward. He's dribble clear of Bird. Jimenez smashes it low. Falls to Parker. Jimenez. The ball hits arse. That's an unfortunate name to have in that situation. But Craig is going to come on for Zimmerman. Who's not having a good game. And um, they're doing well to like deny us here. They're doing well to hold us off. Cambridge United are doing very well indeed. Our... Uh, um, what would make it better is if Grimsby are losing. They are losing 3-2 and they've got a man sent off, which is wonderful. We do appear to be all over them here. We do appear to be all over Cambridge, but matching for shots on target. We've just now got one extra. But here come Cambridge on the attack. Is this going to be a goal? He swings it in. O'Connor's caught offside, so nothing comes of it. And uh, it's good to see Campbell back in our team. Obviously, it's not Sol Campbell. It's a different Campbell in this universe, but... Uh, we're getting in on goal here. Makoku saved by Duffy. And uh, we can't break through at the moment. Yes, we can. Are you listening to me, Championship Manager? Are you hearing me there? Um, I'm saying I can't, we can't break through, but Jimenez then gets the breakthrough. And are we going to get an immediate second or third goal in a matter of minutes? We're not just yet. But, um, they, I mean, they've got the whole of Brazil playing for them. That's not very fair, to be honest. Let's see if we make 10 minutes to go. I can't make our third and final sub because we've done it. But we will drop Mads Tim back and just rotate those two rounds so it's not always Makoku doing the running. Um, we'll give him a chance to just stand up front as a bit of a poacher. As uh, Makoku's there. And there we go. You make the change. Tim passes to Makoku. He gets his fifth goal of the season. And that will clinch it for us. 3-1 we are beating Cambridge. This is lovely, lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. What we want to see is it's pushing us back up into second. Grimsby are still down in seventh. We're going to have a bit of Grimsby watch every so often. But um, yeah. Lovely stuff. Loving it. 3-1 up. The post denies Jimenez from 30 yards. And then he gets a header and misses the target. But I think this will see the game through. And it will be a 3-1 victory for the mighty Tottenham Hotspurs. And we go marching on. They are delighted with that result. Which is very, very nice. Chris Duncan has moved to Sheffield Wednesday for 2 point something million. Which is good business for Blackburn Rovers. Rotherham manager Alan Curvishley has been sacked. Higgins moves to Yeovil. Hang on, Chris Higgins. Was I looking at him? I don't know. But yeah, um, Dasa Kalikis 
has been signed on a free transfer by Norwich and is immediately wanted by some other clubs. Lee Smith has rejected on here. We won Manager of the Month for September. Jimenez has won for, uh, Player of the Month. And Gay has won Young Player. Thierry Gay. Thierry looks good. Thierry Gay. Let's give him a scout. Right. Um, I think I've got to try and remember how to do this now. Is it shortlist? Yes. Yeah, so we're still scouting all these players. Uh, he's now moved to us. Richard uh, Rahid Al Adoy is is he out of contract now? Should we see if he wants to move here as a squad rotation player? Thirty eight thousand grand, no, thirty eight thousand a week, no, thank you. Um, okay, so Wharton is another one I think we were scouting. No, he didn't want to move to us. We've got a few scouts on the go. Um, we've got a few people scouting. Our scouts actually aren't anywhere in the world. Maybe we'll send them off to places and see if they can go and find us some players. But we'll wait until we've got the next game. I've just got a message from my work, which is very strange. We'll get back to that in a minute. Um, this is much more important, Chamandro 102. It wasn't from my work. It was Twitter. But uh, training report. De Vries has a glowing reference from Frank Worthington. Maybe we will... Um, maybe we'll give him a start. Maybe we'll give him a start. Yeovil slump continues. Someone's moved there. South end of San Sheffield and Simon Cross for 80k. Blackpool Point Burgess. Um, not too much going on here. No, not much going on at all. Right, did we sell any of these players? No, let's uh, set transfer. We'll lower you. Sure, auto. Yeah, we'll lower you to uh, by 10. Just see if we can tease a bid in from in from them. QPR. What? I'm just gonna I'm gonna transfer list him and see. Yeah, a bit more interest in him. Um, Lee Smith. All right, all right. You want a minimum fee release source, but I'm not letting you go for that much. But I will chuck a shed ton of money at you um, to see if we can get you to stay. I can probably sell Berry now. Um, feels pressured by the club's high valuation of him. Okay, well, yeah, that was a bit excessive. We'll go to 500k. Uh, okay, let's do this the old-fashioned way. Go back to auto, and we'll see what happens. Um, Holmes is the one we're trying to sell. Uh, that'll do for now. So there we go. Yeah, and Aguado could be on his way out, which will be interesting. Dagenham and Redbridge are up next. That famous two team, two well, two named team, um, Dagenham and Redbridge will go with that. Parker did play better in the middle, but Robson's been doing well there generally. Um, we'll give Worthington a start for Smith. He's been a bit shit, even though I defended him in the press. But yeah, let's get the game underway. Worthington gets his first start at the new club. And Tottenham are looking to jump above Swansea and Scunthorpe, if at all possible. But at the moment, it's not looking likely, as I didn't read the commentary. But we were denied a classic goal. So I'll uh, okay, stop handballing the ball. This happened in like episode two. Everybody just wanted to handball it and go in goal. As Anderson picks up a yellow guard. Uh, maybe it was just moving the central midfielder the other way around. I'll put Anderson on the left and put... Parker in the rows. Mahan in acres of space. Our right back was pushing up the pitch and getting involved. But um, Mads Tim comes forward into Jimenez. Jimenez to Anderson. Anderson, it was someone was clattered by Makoku. Or Makoku was clattered by somebody, sorry. But uh, we're coming in. Makoku, free kick was terrible. It hit the wall. And now Dagenham and Redbridge still aren't doing anything. And Tim into Makoku. Half volley. Corner from Zimmerman. Comes to nothing. I might have to set up my set piece takers as well because... Our corners don't appear to be doing anything. Tim shoots. Anderson lets it run free and then dives on the rebound. And they're just about withstanding our pressure as Makoku hits it from range. Um, we're going to swap those two back just to see if it makes a difference. Sometimes it does, little changes like that. Sometimes the off-the-ball movement of Makoku and, um, is better than Mad's Tim, so that run through the middle gets him a bit more space. Jimenez is coming into a bit of form, which is good at the moment. We're going to keep him in the lineup for now. He was a big money buy at 2.5 million. So we've got to get the best out of him because we're in the third tier of English football. So our money won't get replenished like it normally does. We don't get the Premier League TV revenue or anything like that. So, yeah, we've just got to keep it going, really. And this will be the final game of this episode. Um, and we're still waiting for all those scout reports to come back. But, yeah, Mads Tim still showing he's got the technique of a one-legged ostrich. But... Um, he really can't hit volleys. I think he scored one quite early on in the series. I say quite early on the series. It's only like episode four or five. But um, yeah, he scored one quite early on in the season. It was sounded like it was very good. But generally, they seem to go quite high. That's what the commentary says. It's gone over the bar. 
which can be an inch over the bar or it could be five or six feet over the bar. But uh, Fred Anderson is not having a good game. He's going to come off and be replaced by Burgess. And we'll leave it like that. Let's drop Jimenez in behind. Let's see if he can get a bit more in that attacking midfield role. And we'll put the, the stalwarts up front, the two older gentlemen, Makoku and Mads Tim, up front, um, 33 and 34. Tottenham won a penalty. He consults his linesman. It's awarded. And uh, who's going to take it? It's Robson. And he scores again. No mistake by Robson. Probably wasn't having a really good game. But the penalty gives him a chance to up that rating. And that is wonderful, wonderful stuff. As Dallas sends the ball upfield, Robson can't get there. And uh, Jacobs now picks up an injury. For Dagner and Redbridge, they've made their change. And here they come on the attack. But we get one and Jimenez nick the ball and then try to curl it from range and didn't get it on target defenders i think is a bug it must be a bug because we just can't seem to find a partnership that works we just can't see they always just get sixes which is really not unless they score and then they get an eight but i mean chris campbell's fouled him and picked up a yellow card so that's not very good maybe i don't know it's going to be worthington and some way worthington and campbell is the one that makes sense of the defensive partnership with smith as the backup and a rotation. But um, I'll take a 1-0 win. I'd prefer another goal to make it a bit more comfortable, to be honest. But uh, we're going in. It's a foul. Dixon will be yellow guarded for holding Jimenez's shirt. And Burgess will surely shoot from this range. He does. Makoku sets it. Jimenez! Bang! I said it earlier. He was in form. And he is in form. Juan Jose Jimenez. Uh, we, again, we dropped him back down to that attacking midfield role, which seems to have paid dividends in this sense. Because... They just said there's no, they can't keep up with his movement and those runs from attacking midfield, which is really good. Now, Jack Worthington. Come on, mate. This is your first start. You should be playing better than that. Jimenez, 9. Makoko, 9. Uh, Mads, Tim, 7. That's pretty good. Hmm. We'll leave it. We'll just leave it as it is. We've got a bit of time. We've used two subs. We'll keep the game going. 2 0 up against Dagenham and Redbridge, which puts us top of the table. That's what we like to see. Dagenham and Redbridge down in 17th if the results stay as they are. But uh, we're doing okay. And. Well, Dallas makes a good save from that one. And we're looking to counter here. Mads Tim comes forward, slips into Makoku, back to Tim. Tim, 30 yards out. Jimenez, Makoku, Makoku to Jimenez. He runs at Craig, goes around, and Tim is in the air. It was a good tackle from the defender. And the ball is cleared. And uh, we're coming over now. Dagenham and Redbridge are putting us under a bit of pressure. They come forward. He's having his shirt pulled. It'll be a free kick, but Dallas plucks it out of the air like the goalkeeper that we knew we were buying. I can't remember how much we paid for him. Was he another 2.5 million signing? I don't think he was. I know there was a couple. No, Jimenez. It was Jimenez. And I don't know. We'll have to look. It might have been him, actually. It might have been the goalkeeper. But we spent 5 million on player, two players that probably weren't worth that sort of money. But I'm buying our way to the Premier League. That is what I plan to do. I plan to spend a lot of money and buy our way to the Premier League. Because... Why wouldn't I do that? It's Champ Manager 102. I don't really have to do anything. We now sit top of the league. So three of your scouts are impressed with 18-year-old skillful attacker Ion Mutu while watching Romania's 2-1 group 7 defeat at the hands of Slovenia. You can have difficulty attaining a work permit. Yes, he looks very handy. Let's just... Uh, I don't want to... Let's pay that and then they'll probably ask for his thing. Kovacic as well. Um, yeah. Who would have no problem gaining a work permit. Okay, let's um, we'll give you a proper scout just so that we can get an understanding. Scouts watch Turk. He's a fairly good player. I believe the player would, ha would have difficulty. Let's see if we can um, get him in. Has he got a minimum fee? He does. 250k. Let's just not mess around. Let's mess, let's mess around. We'll go 100k. Don't need to spend excessively. And the board are pleased with the Dagenham and Redbridge game. So we'll leave it there. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. So this is a playthrough, so you're going to see every single game of this season. And moving forward, it will probably when I get into the new Football Manager save and Provo comes out and then there's Two Point Hospital that I also want to play, but I probably won't play it on the channel. This is more of a football channel. Um, but when these games come out, I will probably ease off this Champ Under 102 save. But we'll see what happens. But thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure once again. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the content, subscribe if you're new, and I'll chat to you all very, very soon. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.